Hello everyone, welcome to the video on Chloramphenicol Medicinal Chemistry Aspects. Now in this video I am going to explain the structure of Chloramphenicol, its nomenclature, stereochemistry, structure activity relationship, synthesis and clinical uses. This is my YouTube channel, if you like the video content do subscribe and share. Let's get into the topic. Now Chloramphenicol is isolated from Streptomyces venezuelae. It is a broad spectrum antibiotic, means it is active against gram positive as well as gram negative bacteria. But it has got some severe toxicities. They are known as blood dyscrasias. Blood dyscrasias means uh, uh, the disorders affects red blood cells. Because of its severe toxicity, this is not the first choice of drug when there are safer antibiotics are available. And uh, but this is typically used when the other antibiotics are ineffective or contraindicated. Now this is the structure of chloramphenicol. See while mastering chloramphenicol you need to understand certain things. It has got a paranitrophenyl group and a, a propyl group with two hydroxy substitutions and then you have acetamide substitution with dichloroclo. Three of the important groups are there. Let me explain, elaborate it. See, this is paranitrophenyl group. Paranitrophenyl group and then 1,3-propane diol group is there. Three carbons are there, 1, 2 and 3. And then an estimide group which is substituted with two of the chlorines are there. Now, when you see the uh, IUPAC nomenclature, it goes like 2,2-dichloro, 1R2R, 1,3-dihydroxy. See, this carbonyl carbon is first carbon and this is second carbon and on that you have two chlorine substitutions are there hence it is 2 2 dichloro 1 3 dihydroxy this one is one and this this one is third carbon two hydroxy groups are there so 1 3 dihydroxy and 4 nitrophenyl this is at fourth position this is 1 2 3 and 4 at fourth position you have a nitro substitution is there and to this propane carbon at first carbon this substitution is there hence you have this one here so propane 2 I'll understand this at second propane group at second carbon you have this substitution is there and what is that substitution acetamide substitution so this is how it is named according to IUPAC now the active one is D3O isomer remember this this is the only active isomer erythro isomer is inactive antibiotic now SER now understand this see unlike aminoglycosides or tetracycline chloramphenicol is a single drug you don't have derivatives of chloramphenicol is there in case of tetracycline you have chlorotetracycline oxytetracycline in case of aminoglycosides we have streptomycin canamycin amicacin but here you have only one drug is there the reason is you change any of the structural aspects it results in loss of activity hence Every structure, every functional group of chloramphenicol is essential to show its activity. To elaborate this, look at this. Replacement of phenyl group. This is the phenyl group. If you replace this with other aromatic systems, cyclohexyl, furyl or heteroaromatic system, it results in loss of activity. So you cannot change this group. It is essential for activity. Now the other one. Replacement of nitro group by NH2, NHR or anything results in loss of activity. So you cannot change this nitro group too. Now shifting that nitro from para to other position also results in loss of activity. It needs to be only in this para position. Or though meta loss of activity is there. So you cannot change it. What is left over? This propane diol group. And that it has to be in 3O isomer. Other isomers are inactive. Now replacement of this OH or elaborating with CH2OH also results in loss of activity. So, structure activity relationship indicates every functional group in this chloramphenicol is essential for its activity. Understand this, when you change the structure, it will not reduce the activity, rather it causes loss of activity, completely inactive. Hence, you cannot have much structural activity changes in chloramphenicol. Every group, every functional group is essential. Now, let us understand the synthesis pattern. Now, synthesis goes back to organic chemistry basics. Now, look at them. It starts with 1-nitrophenyl ethanone. Look at this. This is the structure of chloramphenicol. So, this part, paranitrophenyl is retained and two of the carbons are there. Now, when you see the structure, uh, chloramphenicol has got three carbons. On the second carbon, you have amine substitution is there. So, our job is to introduce an amine substitution here and then one more carbon has to be introduced. Now, amine directly cannot be introduced, hence it is brominated. Bromination is easy and it results in bromo derivative. Now, once bromo derivative is introduced, amine can be introduced by hexyl amine 
reagent and this hexylamine reagent introduces amine group so amine is introduced but amine is very facile group so in order to proceed with other reactions this amine group has to be protected and it is protected by acetylated derivative so this is a particular protecting group so after acetylation a carbon is introduced by using formaldehyde uh, reagent in presence of sodium carbonate so formaldehyde introduces methanol group and then it is reduced by using mpv reduction this is a specific reduction which affects only carbonyl reduction the nitro will be untouched no other group is touched only this carbonyl is converted into alcoholic form so this is the advantage of mpv reduction now after that you use hcl and hydrolysis to remove this acetyl group and you get back your amino group now the final chloramphenicol gets by using dichloromethyl acetate reagent which attaches this dichloroacetyl group and finally we get chloramphenicol so though the uh, synthesis looks tedious and elaborate one understand the understand each and every step bromination facilitates introduction of amine group and amine is protected by acetic anhydride moiety and then a carbon is introduced by using formaldehyde mpv reduction results selective reduction of keto to alcohol and then in presence of acid hydrolysis the acetyl group is taken off and the side group is attached by using dichloromethyl acetate functional group and this is how chloramphenicol is synthesized now finally chloramphenicol uh, how it acts is it inhibits peptidyl transferase enzyme of bacterial protein synthesis so it is a broad spectrum bacteriostatic medication it limits the growth of bacteria but it cannot act as bactericidal agent it just kills the bacteria now it crosses blood brain barrier hence it is very useful to treat bacterial meningitis meninges is the external protecting layer of our brain which is made up of dura mater arachnoid mater and pia mater so inflammation of this one is what is known as meningitis now bacteria acquires resistance by acetyl transferase enzyme and this acetylates chloramphenicol and chloramphenicol becomes inactivated so some of the bacteria acquires this resistance toxicity let us see toxicity in detail see chloramphenicol could kill hematopoietic cells of bone hematopoietic cells and it results in bone marrow suppression bone marrow suppression may results in aplastic anemia and decrease in platelet leukocytes aplastic plasia means cell multiplication so aplasia means no multiplication at all and that results in severe anemia that is called as aplastic anemia chloramphenicol is also teratogenic so it should not be given to pregnant women or newborns especially in newborns infants lack glucuronazole transferase enzyme if this enzyme is not present it the chloramphenicol drug will get accumulates and that results in gray baby syndrome why because accumulation will cause a aplastic anemia that decreases red blood cells and babies appear gray in color because lack of red blood cells babies appear gray and it also results in cyanotic condition it results in cardiovascular collapse also so the other one chloramphenicol can also inhibit hepatic uh, cytochrome p450 enzymes if the enzymes are inhibited drugs will not be metabolized and the drug accumulation may get increased so these are all the major side effects of chloramphenicol because of this terrible chloramphenicol chloramphenicol is used in only in severe particular cases this is about chloramphenicol medicinal chemistry aspects if you like the video content do subscribe and share thank you for watching this video